Nigeria is blessed with a lot of good food and recipes and today I will share one with you. This recipe is called Abak Atama and it is similar to Banga soup if you know what Banga soup is but it is not quite the same. So I will show you how to make it today, tell you the similarities and the differences. Let's get cooking. These are the ingredients you need for this recipe. I have here stockfish. These are just pieces of stockfish and this is the type that I like. You can use any other part of stockfish. Some people like the ear of stockfish or the head, but I don't like that because they tend to be very bony and I have kids eating. I also have crayfish powder here. It gives a lot of beautiful flavor to a dish, especially to soups that we make in Nigeria. I have pomo here. Pomo is cow skin and this is already boiled pomo. Somebody was asking why my pomo always looks clean. It's because I always select the soft pomo. I don't like hard pomo that has all that gunk on there. It's so I like soft pomo and I always boil it till it is soft and keep it in the freezer till whenever I'm cooking something so it comes in handy. I have periwinkles here. So these periwinkles have been deshelled. Some people like to cook this recipe by putting the whole periwinkle including the shell but I do not like that so I have already had this periwinkle deshelled and cleaned. Now this is a very important ingredient. I always have it at home and that's because I use it for pepper soup and I prepare like a lot of pepper soup based meals. You can use it for banga soup, you can use it for this abakatama and if you do not use this ingredient in this recipe then this is not what you are cooking. <laughs> then don't bother cooking it because it is very very special. It gives it a lot of very authentic flavors and you are going to love it. If you've never used it before, you are going to love it. It is called Uyayak and some people have other names for it in different tribes in Nigeria but you call it Uyayak when you get to the market. I have some black pepper here which is like Cameroon pepper that has been ground and some people keep saying Cameroon say they don't have this pepper. Well, this is what we call it, Cameroon pepper. I have chicken for this recipe. You can choose to use goat meat, catfish or anything. A lot of people actually prefer catfish because if you know banga soup, catfish is like perfect for banga soup and it applies here. But I'm using chicken and not just any other kind of chicken but I'm using you know local chicken that has just been freshly prepared because it has all the flavors. I feel like frozen chicken does not give you the authentic taste so when you use something like this it really brings out the flavor of this dish and this is what I'm going to be using today. It is so delicious. Now this is the atama leaves. So when they say abak atama, it is atama soup. This leaf is the atama leaf. You can have it fresh but it is difficult to find it in Lagos fresh. This is the dried one. All you need to do is soak it in water before you put it in the soup and it gives it a lovely, lovely taste and this is one of the reasons why it is separate from banga soup. Now this is palm nut sauce. Just the way you have the sauce that you used to make banga, it has been boiled from the banga seeds and pounded and the sauce drained from the palm kernel. If you want to see how to do it, I have a banga recipe. I'm going to link it below and it shows you the step by step on how to do it. But today I didn't do it step by step. I bought it from this brand and it is called Victoria Banga Paste. I didn't want to read the name. I wanted to buy local pots from them and I noticed they were selling the Banga Paste so I bought it and it is like real authentic. I would rather buy this one than buy you know the other Banga Paste that come in those things. This is like really really authentic and I really enjoyed using it. It made my cooking process very very fast. I like to have a bit of fresh pepper when I'm making this recipe. So these are like atarodos, the red one. I also have the yellow peppers. They give it a different kind of flavor so I'm using this as well. Last but not least is smoked catfish. So you can look for smoked catfish wherever you are. Like I said catfish is perfect for this recipe and the combination with the chicken is going to make it so delicious. Now I'll season the chicken with some chicken stock powder. I'll also be using some salt, 
and some of that Cameroon pepper I'll add water because you guys this chicken takes a long time to cook so if you have a pressure cooker you can use it it takes longer than your normal like chicken that takes maybe 10 minutes this would probably take like 30 minutes or 25 minutes to cook and that's because it is hard chicken the type of chicken that it is I won't cook it till it is 100% soft because I'll still be cooking it in the panga sauce now this is the atama leaves that have been dried these ones look very very nice sometimes I go to the market to buy and it is not as like fresh like this or looking as green and vibrant as this so this is really really good what you need to do to prepare this is just to soak it in water like I said earlier and it's going to get softened and let me tell you something about this atama leaves it's a bit slippery so it's kind of like a bit like a wedu that has been washed so you feel a bit of that slipperiness so once you've soaked it like this at the end just drain the water and squeeze it and you feel a bit of slipperiness in your hands i'm just telling you the texture so that you're not caught on our ways I've also prepped my periwinkle by taking out like there's a little thing by that eye there I always take it off when I'm about to use it for recipes it takes a bit of time but it is worth doing it for me this is the uyayak and all you have to do is just cut it into little bits like that as you can see and that's what we're going to use for this recipe you can store the rest at home and use it for other recipes once the chicken is almost done, as you can see, a lot of the water has reduced. I'm going to add the smoked catfish, which is going to start cooking down. I also have the uyayak that we cut earlier, and we're going to put it in the pot so that it starts boiling. I have some stock fish fillets, and I'm just going to put that in the pot, and some of my pre-boiled, pre-cooked bomo. And then I have the peppers that I have blended together and we have our banga paste as you can see there's some sediment at the bottom so don't pour everything leave your banga paste in a bowl so that it can collect some of those sediments sometimes when it enters your soup it's not a nice taste so just allow your banga to rest so that you can drain that part out now i'm going to add some of that crayfish powder and then allow everything to cook a lot of people have not heard about this soup and have not tried it this abat atama soup it is so delicious please please give it a try just try it and see and give me feedback if you're looking for like meal ideas i have a six month meal planner that you can use it gives you ideas of recipes that you can try or gives you ideas of meals that you can try so it gives you names because sometimes it's difficult to just come up with a food timetable every day of the week so i have one that you can use for about six months i also have a cookbook that you can try to get all of that will be linked in the description box below it's been cooking for a while now and as you can see it has thickened and a bit of oil is coming out that's how I know it's almost ready I've just transferred the atama leaves to the pot of soup and I'm adding my periwinkles because this is towards the end of the recipe like I said how you know your banga is ready is when you begin to see that oil coming at the top I'm just going to mix everything together and right now <laughs> you guys the flavor the aroma <laughs> it was so so good everything in this pot is just deliciousness So you can see the soup is ready we have more oil at the top the aroma that fills the kitchen is amazing and I'm just stirring everything together you might find that your soup is thick if you don't want it too thick you can add a bit more water and if you notice I didn't add so more salt or more seasoning and that's because the one I had when I was boiling the chicken was enough for the soup just look at how everything is bubbling together 
I really do hope you try this recipe because I'm all about really encouraging all of us to try a lot of Nigerian recipes now. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe if you have not. I served my abakatama in a traditional clay pot because that's how I like it <laughs> and it looks nice and authentic in that pot. I hope you really try this recipe. If you do, tag me on social media. I would love, love, love to see it. Thank you for watching today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!